Hey guys, what's up? So I actually just finished um, shooting a makeup vlog. So if you want to watch it, then just click on the link below. But I am here not to show you guys any makeup tricks. I'm actually here to talk about my life. It's taken me some time before I actually sat down and decided to film it because these are a bit more on the heavier side, but I think it's something that has to be talked about because we're so used to seeing such perfect and positive lives on Instagram, on social media, and all, I'm not saying it has to stop, but I am saying that there is another side to it. I don't want to call it negative, but I think it's more like, it's less fantasized, it's less um, paradise -y in that sense. You know, life has its ups and downs, and sometimes we just choose to show the good parts on social media, but there are bad parts as well. The bad parts aren't so much talked about, and I've been going through a lot of stuff this past year, and I feel like I have this platform that I just want to share with you guys how I started to deal with these emotions and these trials that I have in my life. And I know I might hear from the comment section that, oh, but you're like so privileged and whatever. And yes, there is some truth to that, but it doesn't make anything that I went through not valid because a lot of people like to put me on a pedestal because they think, oh, I'm artista, and oh, I have a perfect life, oh, you're rich, and like that. And yeah, I'm artista, but no, I'm not rich. So let's get that out of the way. And I've been like super dramatic on Instagram and on Twitter lately, and I just want to share why. And it's actually a good thing, because this is what prompted me to change my life, just have a more positive outlook on the days and years to come. Let us begin. A year ago, I was living in my condo with my brother. And during this time in my life, I thought that everything was perfect. I had my career. I was acting. I had a show during that time. I just bought a car. I had a condo that I previously bought when I was 18. So technically, I was living rent-free, but I still had a mortgage to pay. I had a relationship with my family and I was super like body positive towards myself. A year ago, I also decided to move in with my family, which is Megan, because Megan wasn't living with us during that time and she was like, hey, how about we all live together and then we can help each other out. Last year, May, we all moved in together and it was kind of tough because I wasn't used to us staying in the same house and she kept trying to help me in ways that I was like, I don't need your help. This is really hard. <laughs> I kept rejecting all the help that she was throwing my way. During that time, I thought I was at my peak. And then when I moved back in with my family, I realized, hey, this is not the peak of all of this yet. I thought it was perfect in my life. It's not yet. So that's when I realized, you know, I had a job, but my career wasn't at its peak. I didn't realize that I was capable of doing so much more in a professional sense. And that was when I realized, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting work, but am I someone that people want to work with? And that's when it was brought to my attention. Actually, no, I'm not, because I thought I was being funny. But actually, I was being such a brat on set. I was being a diva. I thought that I had the right to ask for certain things and treat people a certain way just because I was the actor on set. So I was always making reclamo. I was always bitching. And I was just so demanding and judgmental towards my peers that I realized I was the negative person on the set and that maybe I was the person that they didn't want to work with. And so that was the first thing that I decided to change. I decided to change my professionalism. And if I channeled a better personality and a better work environment, then maybe my acting would be much better and my work environment would become easier. And instead of me just focusing on the negative side of it, I decided, oh no, I'm in such a good position because I only work three times a week. 
I'm able to have all these things. Pero nagre-reklamo pa rin ako. So dun po mapasok na, you know, enough is never enough for someone. So, laging may kulang eh. Lagi kang may hahanapin na iba. And instead of me looking for something like that I didn't have, I decided to just focus on what was given to me and what I worked so hard for and make it really great. So, I showed up on set on time. I was nicer towards my peers. I focused more on my on my skills than judging others. And I decided to not be a bitch. And I noticed that my environment work-wise changed. And even though I was shooting 30 hours a day, it was so much better. And it felt so much better just because I decided to not change the system, but I decided to change myself. So that's something that worked for me and my career. After that, I thought I had all the money in the world. Like, I thought I didn't it. And this is where money, my condo, and my car come into place. I bought a condo at 18. And then I bought a car at 22. These were my first and my only major investments. And I thought that I was doing the right thing by purchasing these things because I was like, Oh, artist ako. Ganito yung kinikita ko. Kailangan ko bumili ng ganito kasi yung mga kasama ko, may kondo na sila, nagpapagawa sila ng bahay. Kailangan ko ng kotse kasi nakikita ko lahat ng mga kasama ko muy bili ng kotse. And I, and I realized I was purchasing these things not because I needed them or wanted them, but it was mostly out of jealousy. And yeah, I'm, it's very privileged that I could afford all those things. And I mean, I, oh wow, you're jealous, you buy everything. I realized that, like I realized that. And this is where at this age right now, I am trying to correct that. Oh, and where money comes into play is I bought a condo and I bought a car, but I had no money. I had no savings and I was in serious debt. So I didn't have any money and I didn't buy these things full. I had a mortgage with these things. So that's the first thing that I was doing. I bought a car and a house that I couldn't really afford just because I wanted to play along and be at the same level of my peers. I couldn't really be at the level. You know that? I was in debt because dahil I had all these things. I was in debt with my friends, my family. Ko, and I was like, why am I working? I'm working so I could pay for things and live a certain lifestyle that I can't even afford. And so that's when I decided, no, I'm gonna put my condo and make it into a good investment. So I had it rented out. I could stay there and not afford it, or I could get the rent money and put that towards the loan so that it's something that I don't have to think about. And yes, that's privilege. But the car, the car was something I didn't really need. So with the advice of Megan and Mikael, I sold my car and honestly that was like the hardest thing that I had to do because the car it symbolized that I had a certain lifestyle it symbolized that I was rich and that I could afford this but in reality I couldn't so me letting go of my car was me letting go of my status in society I mean that's how I took it and that's how I felt and then the day that I actually sold my car I was like like ko like I would have like a surge of emotions na oh wala ka lang kotse, loser ka. and then that's when I realized these are just material things and I don't need them and so I got into this obsession where I started selling almost everything that I owned from clothes to bags to shoes basically everything that I don't need I'm not living a minimalist life like everyone is saying that I'm doing I'm just really letting go of things that I don't need and things that are not bringing me joy like Marie Kondo said but are actually bringing me pain because they are dragging me down because I used to think that they symbolize like a status or like that you hey girl you've made it but it was actually just symbolizing greed and that's something that I didn't want and then my body acceptance so yeah 
I get this question all the time. Bakit ka tumaba? Tumbaho? Because I wasn't living a healthy lifestyle. I was binge drinking. I was binge eating. And I think it all stems from the fact that I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy that no matter no matter if I had all these things, I was still looking for something more. And so and so I couldn't beat myself up like physically. I couldn't beat myself up with words. So I decided to beat myself up by blacking out. I decided to beat myself up by going out and being surrounded by people that didn't matter and it was causing so much pain on me that I felt like I deserved that pain because I just wasn't happy with my life so yeah in the process I gained a lot of weight because I was miserable and because it was something that in the moment I really did enjoy but the day after I would be like oh what are you doing like I drink until I blacked out I would leave my house at 10 p.m. and I'd get home at 8 a.m. for what you know so yeah that's how I gained all the weight because I was miserable and I wasn't treating myself right and then moving in with my family which is you know why all of this happened I thought my sister and I had a great relationship prior to me moving in and then when we were actually living together that's when I realized oh my god we don't even know each other and it was one of the saddest days in my life like like I would walk out of my room and she would walk out of her room and we would treat each other like colleagues like my own sister that I used to live with and and it wasn't because of her but it was because of me because of all the negativity in my life I decided to shun my family out and I thought I didn't need them and that's when I realized that's the time that I needed my family the most. And then I really worked hard to have a relationship with my sister. And, you know, she was the one who really helped me out. Her and Mikael and my brother and my mom. And they made me realize that, you know, it's like a pyramid. Everything you want is at the bottom. And everything you need is kind of in the middle. But everything on top is how you're gonna get all of that so they're like how are you gonna get everything in the middle and the bottom if you don't work on the thing that's most essential which is on top so that is something that i'm working with now which is myself so how do i get a better career and how do i get more happiness in my life well it starts with me one career given i gotta look good which is why i'm taking care of myself so much more i've been eating properly i haven't been drinking i don't go out i try to walk as much as i can i don't make excuses like this is me like owning up to everything in my past like i was in debt and i paid it all off everything that i earned i kept like 10 percent because i only needed 10 percent to live off in a month but the 90 percent I used to pay off because I didn't want to walk around like the city or like this, this earth being seen spending money when the people who I owe money to know so that was my number one priority I paid everyone off I'm now living debt free besides my loan besides like all the privilege all the material things and all the luxury in life I am happier like so much more happier because I finally realized the things that I truly need in life not what I want but what I need and now that I know what I need and I'm working towards making my life better to get those things once I have I can work towards the things that I want you can call it minimalism you can focus on the material things but right now I just really want to focus on what's good for me. Yeah, I'm so much happier now, but yes, I struggle every single day because sometimes I don't know what to do with my life, but then the next day I try to figure it out. So at the end of the day, what I've learned is no excuses because even if you know that you can always land on someone to help you, 
you can only help yourself. So whether you're going through body issues, monetary issues, self-love issues, or anything in life, just deal with it. And no excuses. So today, I can say that I don't have much materially, but I have so much in my heart, and I've never been happier. Thanks for watching. Bye.